probably heard it work already, but I'll see you there soon. Callie, I did hear a rumor that someone used our connections in the HR department to get a job at our office. Don't tell me it was you. That's right. Mom and Dad know the head of the HR department. They introduced me to him. OMG. Mom and Dad spoil you any way they possibly can, don't they? That's because they love me so much. But I could have sworn Dad's friend works at a different company. I'm sure it wasn't here. Oh, yeah, about that. He probably got transferred to your company and you didn't know or something. Who cares how I got a job at your company anyway? The point is, I did. This is the first time I've heard about people using their connections to constantly switch jobs. Wasn't it Dad who got you your last job too? What do you care? Why do you want to work here anyway? This company isn't even in your field. Well, you never went to college and you seem to be enjoying working there. If I'm working there, I'm sure I'll be promoted up the ladder in no time. It's not that easy to move up in this company. Is that right? You need qualifications to advance anywhere in this company. Qualifications? If you don't have the official qualifications, you gotta at least have the skills to back it up. What do you mean? At this place, your income is a direct reflection of your skills and qualifications. Most of the employees here have specific qualifications for their position. I've got my DTP certificate. That's how I was able to get a job in the advertising department here. Is that true? You didn't go to college, and you were still able to get qualified? Yeah, there are tests for different qualifications. Your education background has nothing to do with whether you can get the qualification or not. Really? Maybe I should try to get my own certifications. Um, do you mean for DTP? Well, even though they hired me, I still have the three-month probation period. So maybe I should try to get some certificates before the three months is up. If I can get them by then, maybe I can get a job in your department. I mean, you didn't even go to college, so I'm sure I can handle it. After all, I finished college, so this will be my chance to show them what a real person can do. Well, I see why you think it would be easy, but... It'd be extremely difficult to study for something you have no experience with and to pass the test all within three months. Are you sure you can handle that while working full-time and learning your new job? Of course! If you can pass the test, I'll have no problem with it. Don't forget, I graduated college and you didn't. Yeah, I know all about your Bachelor of Arts. You mention it to me every chance you get. Callie, do you even know what DTP stands for? Who cares? I didn't message you to discuss what DDP stands for. Oh my god. Oh, and when they were touring me around the office today, I happened to see you. Who's that cute young guy you sit across from? That's what I really want to know. Who? The super cute guy with the glasses. Oh, I think you mean Scott Zimmerman. Zimmerman? Isn't that the last name of the owner of the company? Yeah, he's the owner's son. What? You mean that guy's going to be taking over the company someday? Well, that hasn't been decided yet. His father isn't looking to retire anytime soon, and I'm not sure Scott wants to do that anyway. Yeah, but he's the owner's son! Wow! Callie, don't get any crazy ideas in your head. Huh? Me? Why would you even think that? I know how you've always wanted to marry into money, but I don't want you doing anything stupid at my workplace. Me? I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I know how you get around young guys with money. You instantly want them and think that they'll all want you too. But they never do, and the situation tends to get out of control. It causes problems for you and them, and even problems for others at the workplace. I know exactly why you left your previous job, even though you never told mom or dad what the real reason was. I know you had only two choices. You had to quit, or else you were going to get terminated. Trust me, I know the whole story. You could have been facing legal trouble too, if you hadn't quit. You know all of that? I've got a friend who works at your old office, so whether I like it or not, I know what's going on over there. Really? That sucks. I didn't figure it was any of my business telling you how to act at work. But I know all you want to do is marry into money, so you can quit working and stay home all day. That means as soon as you hear the words boss's son or father's business, your ears immediately perk up. And if the rich guy is good looking, that's just a bonus for you. But knowing what happened last time, I feel I'd better come out and tell you right now that you'd better stop. Otherwise, there's just going to be a repeat of what happened before. What? No, there won't. You're acting pretty smug for someone who didn't even go to college. You know you're not good enough to land a guy with money. That's why you're so jealous of me and the fact that I finished college. You're such a loser. I don't care what you think about me, but I don't want you causing any problems at my office. So don't get any stupid ideas in your head. Good morning, Alicia. Sorry to bother you on the weekend. Can we talk? Good morning, Scott. Of course. What can I help you with? Well, that person that started working at our company recently. 
She's your sister, right? Callie? Yeah, why? Did she do something? Well, she's outside my apartment right now. She's what? Well, it's a long story, but... The day after she started working at our office, she cornered me in the parking lot. She's been following me around ever since. At first, she was just doing it at the office. I thought it was strange, but I didn't say anything. But it looks like she's found out where I live. For the past 30 minutes, she's been standing out front ringing my doorbell and asking me to go on a date with her or to let her in for coffee. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'll come get her right now and put a stop to this. I hate you. I was just about to get a date with Scott Zimmerman. That is, until you showed up and ruined it. Stop butting into my life. You're just jealous of me because I'm so much smarter than you. I hate it. And I hate you. The truth is, Scott called me to come rescue him from you. Huh? He said you've been bugging him for a while now. That's impossible. I haven't been bugging anyone. Callie, why have you been following Scott around? Did you not learn anything from what happened to you at your last job? It's not fair. Why am I only making $2,000 a month at my new position? What? I thought I'd be pulling in at least $3,000 a month there. I took that job because I thought it paid well. Now I can't buy that new designer bag I was looking at. But not just that. I happen to overhear a little something at work, too. Someone told me that you make over $3,500 a month plus bonuses, and you didn't even go to college. That doesn't make any sense. I should be making more than you. Callie, do you know how many years I've been working there? Plus, your pay goes up based on how many qualifications you have. That's why I make what I make. But I'm a college graduate. But what you studied in college has nothing to do with what you're doing at work now. That's not the point. Scott is also a college graduate. So I thought he would understand how I feel about this and he could help me out. You've got to be kidding. Are you saying you've been stalking the owner's son in hopes of getting a pay raise at work? Well, I wouldn't say I was stalking him. But he is the owner's son. So I assumed he'd tell his dad to give his girlfriend a raise. His dad will listen to him. But that's impossible. You should know that. What do you mean? I told you our wages are determined by position and qualifications. The boss's son can't change that for anyone. I don't see why not. He's the boss's son. If anyone found out they did that for you, there'd be an uprising. A what? An uprising. Everyone knows the starting salary and how much it will go up based on qualifications and number of years of experience. If someone found out someone like you, with no experience, no qualifications, and who clearly doesn't know what they're doing at work, was making more than someone with years of experience and a good track record, the office would be up in arms. Oh, shut up! They could just lie and say I got the qualifications! Or that I was doing really well or something. If they believed you could do it without going to college, they should have no problem believing I can do it. Wait, I've got it. If I can get you fired, then maybe they'll let me have your salary instead. Or maybe even just add your salary to my current salary. What? Yep, that's it. I'm gonna get you fired. I'm gonna go talk to daddy about this right now. What? You think dad can help you? I don't care how good of friends dad is with this guy in HR. Do you think he's gonna fire me just because you ask him to? Callie? Callie! I can't believe you did that! What are you planning? Who's this? Is this the loser who never went to college and who just got fired from their job because they're stupid? I finally understand what you meant the other day. When you were talking about daddy and that HR guy. You're sleeping with the head of HR and calling him daddy, aren't you? <laughs> That's right! You got it! Daddy was really the head of HR all along! That's disgusting. You know he's married, don't you? You keep talking about how great you are because you graduated college. Yet the only way you can get a job is to have our dad find you one or to sleep with someone for one. You're terrible. Shut up! I don't care what you say. You don't even have a job anymore. It must be hard for you trying to live on your own with only a high school diploma. Well, whatever. Good luck with the job search. <laughs> No, I'll make sure your sister is well taken care of. Huh? Hi, you're speaking to Scott Zimmerman now. Scott? Yeah. But... how? I'm using your sister's phone right now. Oh, I see what you're doing. This is still just you screwing around with me pretending to be Scott, isn't it, Alicia? You can think that if you want. I really don't care. But I'm gonna tell you this anyway. Tell me what? The thing is, your sister was planning on leaving that company anyway. Yeah, right! <laughs> like I would believe that. She handed in her letter of resignation a few days ago. And by the way, I'm leaving that company too. I handed in my letter of resignation along with hers. What are you talking about? And what did you mean before when you said you were going to make sure my sister was well taken care of? I guess you could say I was doing a little headhunting before I decided to leave my dad's company. Headhunting? My stupid sister? She didn't even go to college. 
Who cares if she went to college or not? Uh, everyone? Not me. I'm starting my own business next month. Your sister is smart, and she's really good at her job. I want her working for me. Huh? Working for you? Everything's already set up. My new office is going to be opening soon. I have most of the positions filled already with highly skilled workers. Great! I can come work for you! What? <laughs> I graduated college and she didn't. Whatever she can do, I can do ten times better. And it sounds like this new position will make me tons more money than I'm getting now. And what qualifications do you have? Huh? Your sister already has her ACA and quite a portfolio. She's going to be finishing her ACE before the end of the year. And next year, she's planning on getting her GD and AI certifications. Again with a certification talk? Why does she have certifications and I don't? They have nothing to do with your education background. They show how willing someone is to study on their own and demonstrate they have the knowledge and skills. Oh, stop with all this certification BS. I have my BA. Bachelor of Arts. How's that for certification? I finished all the studying I ever planned to do in my life. That's exactly why I'd never hire you. I can tell that your parents spoiled you. I know that they kicked your sister out of the house when she told them she wasn't going to college. So? But the truth is, if you don't know what you want to go to college for, you should probably hold off until you know what you want to do. Your sister figured out what she wanted to do, and she studied on her own to get the qualifications she needed. All you seem to do is focus on the fact that you've got your Bachelor of Arts. Do you really think that that alone qualifies you for any position in this industry? That's not even logical. That's just crazy. What? I'm gonna tell Daddy about this. When you say Daddy, you mean the guy in HR you're sleeping with, right? That's right. Well, I don't see what telling the HR manager is going to get you at this point. But do whatever you want. We're already leaving that company, and he can't force me to hire you at my new company. Oh, right. Though what you did to your sister, your general misconduct at the office, and the whole stalking me thing you did. Did you think my dad wouldn't fire you regardless of your relationship with the HR manager? Because let me tell you, he just did. What? Why? He can't fire me. Yes, he can. You're still within the three-month probation period. Technically, he doesn't even need a reason to fire you. You've given him plenty, though. You're gone. It's as simple as that. Oh my god, this can't be happening. Please, I'm begging you. Tell your dad he doesn't have to increase my salary. But please don't let him fire me. I'll do anything. Let me spend the night with you. I can change your mind. It's already been decided. No! Why? The company has already decided what they're doing with you. There's no point in pleading with me. Alicia has something she wants to say to you, so I'm giving the phone back to her. But... Wait! Oh yeah. My dad said you don't have to bother even going into work tomorrow. He doesn't want to see you at the office ever again. Goodbye. Wait! I don't want to be fired again! After that, I blocked my sister's number. I don't know how she let things get this bad with herself. But since she was fired from yet another job, she wasn't able to make the rent payments on the apartment that she was in, and she was evicted. She tried to move back in with our parents, but around that exact same time, the HR manager's wife found out that my sister had been sleeping with her husband. She made a huge stink and showed up at our parents' house looking for her. I'm not going to say how, but my parents found out why my sister left her previous job. And why she was fired from this job. With all of that information and the angry wife in the mix, my parents wanted nothing to do with her anymore, and they kicked her out to deal with everything by herself. We haven't heard from her since, so I have no idea what happened to her after that. As for me, once my parents found out that I was making something out of myself, and I was actually quite successful, they decided they wanted to be part of my life again. I told them it was too late for that, because they had chosen long ago which daughter they really wanted. Scott's new company is doing really well. If things keep up like this, he said he'll likely make me the head of his entire marketing department by next year. Not bad for not going to college, huh?